thank you for joining me this evening here on Loving Guiding Light channel. I am here um, feeling led by spirit to offer some spiritual enlightenment to the collective. In my past, I have uploaded several videos um, with animals and certain birds and so forth that I have had encounters with um, and the spiritual meanings behind those animals. And over the course of, I don't know, probably three, four years, I have been on this awakening journey and I've been using several different tools and modalities in the process of healing myself from uh, trauma and so forth. Um, and I've been led to expand this channel and see if there's something else I can offer to the collective. Um, I am new on the channel as far as recording myself, so I am a little bit nervous, but what I'm learning is that I have to work through my fears um, and to be true to who I am. So I am really stepping out off the ledge, kind of say, as they would say, as the fool would do. I'm being the fool. And I wanted to see if there was something I can offer to the collective and help you all along your path and your spiritual awakening. Um, I have already cleansed the area and I am going to shuffle this deck of cards, which is one of the cards uh, decks that I have been using now and going on several years. I have, um, my spirit has always been called to flowers and um, animals and nature. Um, and this was a special deck that I found some time ago and it's really been helpful on my journey. And I wanted to see if it could also be of some help to you all on your spiritual journey. Those of you that may have had encounters with animals and even plants or flowers um, or even numbers, synchronized numbers, all of those are ways in which our Creator he communicates with us. He communica communicates with us through so many means. And minds are definitely um, through flowers, animals, and numbers. And my awakening actually began with numbers, synchronized numbers. So if any of you all out there are seeing numbers um, and are wondering why you continuously see um, synchronized numbers, you need to look those numbers up. They are specific messages that the universe has for you. So, let's begin. Encouragement. Cooperation. And willingness. You have the number 38, number 39, and the number 11. And I will read to you the book and what this brings, the message it brings. Look at the flower. It's so beautiful. Encourage. 
Richmond. That's number 38. Encouragement. Present challenge. Believing in your healing, even when it seems as if you are falling back in old obsessions. You have drawn this card to reinforce your belief in yourself and your ability to change and heal your life. You may feel as if the old fears and obsessions are gaining strength again because your inner assurance and self-confidence may be slightly shaken by some recent event. This is the time when you may need to face the transforming of your old patterns by yourself. Since friends may be withdrawn into their own concerns, you are being guided to understand that you can do whatever is required to heal because you have invoked divine love to help you begin a new life. You are ready for improved physical health, for relationships with people who are themselves healthier and more capable of sustaining a relationship with you, and for the means to be of service and value yourself. The angelic message is encouragement. Transformation is the process of healing your separation from God. And although you think your problems stem from rejection, abandonment, or trauma at the hands of other people, you are actually facing your desire to release fear and accept love from yourself and from God. Encourage yourself in your efforts to preserve with these positive changes. Continue, continue your meditation and empowering inner work and you will come into the safe and peaceful waters of divine love. You might wonder why you are experiencing resistance to the positive changes and repatterning that you are trying to affect in your efforts to heal. The resistance come from working to abundant the resistance come from working to abandon your fears rather than continuing to fear being abandoned. Your outer mind, your rational self has served you well in the past by helping you put aside the memories of painful experiences so that you could meet new people and try again to find love. But this mental programming is presently sabotaging your effort to reawaken these old feelings in order to heal rather than erase them. You may have decided to love yourself, all of of you this time, even including the parts that lay deeply hidden You may be deciding that even the fearful obsessions and inner anger is only your small child inside crying out to be loved and healed. So place your arms around your body and feel the love from us, your angelic teachers. We understand your pain and also seek your healing. You are needed on this earth and you have the ability to heal through love. The guidance coming to you through this image is for you to preserve in your efforts to grow spiritually and to transform fear into love. The white perfection of the flower image tells you that all change is possible when seen in the light of the divine protection. Perfection. The center path of gold leading into the death of the flower is symbolic. of your life path of awakening and taking you into the heart of the universe. This guidance is suggesting that every healing path leads ultimately toward God, but that you are requested to choose a single path of spiritual study and to stay for that time being with this focus. You are being encouraged to resist the temptation to stop and start your spiritual study or to switch spiritual teachers or to alter your present regiment. You have entered a time of perseverance and self-encouragement in order to nourish your life and yourself. Your mind and your spirit both vie for the attention during the day. In order to practice giving your spirit and its loving attitude priority, try this exercise. 
choose a specific day and begin with a short centered meditation when your eyes with your eyes either opened or closed merely accept that you are loved and are capable of generating love in every corner of your life and with every person keep this i am going i am growing in love attitude in your day try to keep it in your heart as you interact with friends and family and with colleagues at work to remind yourself that you are seeking to maintain this loving attitude Place an object on the counter or on your desk, and every time you look at it, remind yourself that you are loved. Reaffirm this love for yourself all the way through the day, at least once every hour. How do you feel at nightfall? How difficult has it been, been to take your attention from what you were doing or thinking and to place it in on love? Each time you feel unloved towards yourself or others, place your hands over your heart and reawaken your divine connection. Thirty nine is cooperation. Seeking love is the mean of balancing your life. You have drawn this card to alert you that the relationship among your body, mind, and spirit is ready to reach a more refined level of inner cooperation. You may have worked extensively to overcome old feelings of abuse, neglect, abandonment, loss, or low self-esteem. You may be finding that even with all the inner child work, the spiritual alignment work, body work, and other spiritual approaches to healing, you're tired. You still feel blocked in some significant way from your desired state of inner well-being. The blockage is giving way to a sublet level of cooperation of body, mind, and spirit that is emerging into your life to improve your self-confidence and to awaken your soul confidence. Cooperation is essential for the system of your body to maintain your life. Life is interesting, stimulating, fun, sensual, fulfilling on many levels as as you interact with those you love, dislike, fear, or feel competitive with. Even the chemical responses of your body are linked directly to specific emotions. Clearly, the body, mind, and emotions have close alignment. Your spirit's purpose is to facilitate cooperation between you and Gaia, the earth between you and God, through these avenues of receiving and experiencing the profound feeling of love. Your body and emotions are able to respond to love as a transcending transcendent quality. When you accept your relationship with God and thus with divine love, you become a channel for profound compassion, kindness, goodness, non-judgment, just as every spiritual seeker does. When you seek the energy of love, you rise above the lesser emotional responses and are supported in the ability to act, think, and think nobly. Cooperation between your feelings and your body create physical health and feeling of happiness and fulfillment. Cooperation among your feelings, your body, your spirit gives you the ability to experience the grace of God as love and interpret the energy of love as the guidance you seek. The spiritual energy of love is arising from the divine presence and raises you to the status of inspired mortal and wise healer of other living things. Experience cooperation as the subtle level of love puts you in touch with the place of true nourishment. For no matter how many people you have in your life, if you are missing a connection to God, the immortal energy of love, you will feel empty, alone, and finite. You are growing in wisdom to accept the urge to seek cooperation externally with other people and internally among your own body, mind, and spirit. Cooperation is essential to balancing your life with the sacred in all things. The guidance to you through this flower image is to search within yourself to discover those ways in which you are testing 
yourself in God. The brilliant gold and orange in this image offers the potential for splendid change, healing, and renewed balance. The dark afters that hold the pollen at the end of the brilliant waving stamens in this flower image suggest that you are holding within you this clarity, ambivalence, and non-essential belief about the way in which God is present in your life. Yes, you are learning to listen to the universe and to inter interpret the impressions to guide your life. Are you still tossing down the gutlet to God, asking why things aren't better in your life right now? Are you playing a wait-and-see game with God before committing completely to a spiritual path? This guidance is suggesting that you will benefit from asking yourself what, what miracles or dramatic events will be necessary for you to believe that you are in close alignment with God. This card is suggesting that such an occurrence may be coming to you to prove to you that you have a genuine relationship with God. Application Consider that in order to experience the inner cooperation described above, you need to understand and work with the vibrations that are coming into your body and mind with each second of each day. Each of these sensor, sensory experiences can be de deepened to pick up your spirit's love before returning through the words you speak. Strike a bell, turning fork or single note or a musical instrument or Im imagine a clear and profound note never reverberating through you reverberating to through you then say your name to yourself several times and imagine that each time you say your name and strike a note the vibration of the sound carries your name deep into your heart finally during conversation with others imagine that each thought travels from your brain through your heart before being spoken through your lips. This simple exercise reminds you that you are capable, capable of facilitating a deeply cooperative attitude within your own life and within the lives of others. Eleven, willingness. Willingness. Finding value from spending quality time with others even when no change or response is apparent. You have drawn this card to offer insight into ways to create spiritual communities with others. You will benefit from rethinking your expectations for the interactions you have with others, accepting that you can truly be responsible only for your own interactions and actions. You may feel as if you are if you stood on the sidelines wanting to help others or encourage the healing of humanity in or planet but unable to find the means to help. Or you may question the effectiveness of the ways in which you have tried to help. You may feel burned out and despairing or you may feel hopeful yet unsure of the best way to proceed. This card is suggesting that your spiritual work will blossom and that you will be helping in even greater ways to create global communities. Angelic Messages Willingness You come into this world fully prepared to participate in community. And so how is it that you often find the participating so difficult? Community, although natural on the spiritual level, is a learned behavior on the personality and ego level. This suggests that to participate with others in meaningful and enduring relationships, you can benefit from tapping your more natural and basic spiritual essence. The living elements of nature, of the natural world, doesn't struggle to live together. Although the, there is a struggle in the nature of this existence. Likewise, you can accept a fresh relationship with all other living things through willingness to observe and live your purpose and allowing others to do the same without judgment or con con 
condem condemnation. Con con wait a minute. My I need glasses, y'all. Forgive me. Yeah, condemnation. You and others are drawn together for a purpose, and part of your involvement with others is also to also to define a group purpose. Nonverbal communication is the language of the universe. It is shared by all manners of living thing. Things. All life is subject to the influence of ever expanding cycle circles of energy, beginning with the individual aspects of life and expanding past the physical earth and on and into the physical universe and then the non-physical world. Perception is the language of community. Even though a flower has no external language, no audible voice, it accomplishes growth with its own kind through a mutual understanding, understood language of perception. Your willingness to accept nature and all of her paradox and inscrutability opens your inner channel to perception and shows you the spiritual essence and nature of, of other living things. Even when you are unable to explain your expressions rationally, you likewise reach into the hearts of other people most directly, not through directive or spoken word, but through time you and they spend together with the intentions of learning from each other, even when no words are spoken. You live with all other living things in community in order to become a witness to the passing of life and to the awakening of the spirit within yourself and others. Perception is learned from a willing heart, which openly accepts the holiness that is present in is de desirous of being expressed in all people and living things. Spiritual opportunity. The guidance coming to you through this blue violet flower image on this card imparts to you the necessity for quiet inner reflection on the nature of your own life and expectations for community. Also, implicit also implicit in the guidance is that you are destined to help create meaningful interactions and so you are in need of expanding and improving and improving the perceptional skills you possess which all allows you to read others intentions and their unspoken words perception is different from intuition because it arises from the spirit rather than the intellect. Intuition expands thinking, feeling, reasoning, but stays within the confinement of what you've already learned. Perception moves outside, outside the knowledge you've gained from past rational experience and draws on the wisdom of the subconscious of the God awareness expression, experience. Application. Look around you and ask yourself what perceptions you can glean from the person's plants, rock, cloud, trees, or flowers you may see. Imagine that in response to a question or inquiry you might make of a flower, your fashion a blank circle in your mind's eye. Now allow that empty circle to become filled with the conversation from the other, li other living things that you've invited to participate with you. Through this exercise, you are trying to acknowledge that all living things, since life is in some way that all living things are, at, are aspects, aspects of the divine and have a required role to play on earth. Your perception can help you understand the way in which they are each important. And that concludes what I have for the collective. Um, I feel as though the energy right now for everyone is we are clearing some energy. We are all healing um, some old wounds, past traumas, broken hearts, 
fulfill marriages, relationships, things that we are all trying to heal from, forgive others, um, learning to love ourselves and to release people and situations that no longer serve us. And I feel that that is really taking place with everyone on the face of the earth, whether they know it consciously or not. Um, me, myself, I have been on this journey going on for years, five years. Um, and I am still working through a lot of my own um, healing. And... Uh, I felt led to start coming here to share some of that with you all um, in hopes that I can reach out to someone who may be also going through a healing process or a spiritual awakening and um, just may have questions or unaware to what is happening with them or perhaps even questioning if they're sane. <laughs> I know at the beginning of my awakening, I truly felt like I could possibly be losing my mind. Um, however, it was through the diligent um, diligence I had to understand what was happening with me, to seek um, to understand what was going on with me, that led me to understand that I indeed was not insane, but I was sane in that our Creator, my Father, God, was communicating with me and was reaching out to me, trying to help me uh, on my journey. I was in a very low point in my life, and yeah, things started occurring occurring to when I would just want to look and see and search and understand what was going on. So if anyone is out there that is going through this awakening journey and perhaps may be struggling or looking for their soul family or whatnot and um, enjoyed this what I would call a spiritual vitamin it's something I'm going to try to do on a weekly basis for the collective. I'm just going to start off with um, the, this, like a spiritual vitamin thing. Because so many of our readers are currently covering love and relationships and so forth. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yes, I watch so many um, channels um, for so long in regards to relationships and love and whatnot. Um, but at this point in my journey, I'm not really interested in knowing about another individual. I'm really more interested in healing myself and focusing, my, focusing on myself and doing the spiritual work and so forth for myself. I think that I have to continue to work and focus on myself and I'm a firm believer that once that has completed then I will find that person or that love that God has out there for me but for now I'm just focusing on my my inner work and healing and um, wanting to offer whatever enlightenment I can to the collective so, if this is something that you think you would be interested in seeing on a regular basis, um, please like and start following me. I'm going to try to do this at least um, once a week, two if possible, if my schedule permits, and if my nerves permit. <laughs> like I said, this is my first time. Um, doing this with my cards and so forth so I got to work through some of this nervousness and anxiety I get from doing or uh, for just being on 
online or just recording. Anyway, again, thank you for joining me. This is Love and Guiding Light, and I hope that you will like and follow and subscribe. Thank you and have a blessed evening.